Hey everyone, it's Jeannie from A1 Vacuum and Sewing, and I just wanted to give you a little tutorial on loading in Brilliance Thumbnailer onto your computer. That was our daily deal um, on Friday, and so many of you got it. I just want to show you how easy it is to put onto your computer and how wonderful it is. This has definitely become one of those, I have to have this um, product in what I own because it makes life so easy when it comes to embroidery and viewing your designs. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to get this little uh, CD case and um, I'm going to put it onto my computer. My laptop doesn't have an internal uh, CD DVD reader so I just bought this one off of Amazon. I want to say it was $22 or something like that. Just plugs right in here via USB. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Just have a button right on front. And let's load up my Brilliant. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Okay. Why don't you come around to this side so you can see what's going on on my computer. Once you go ahead and put it on there, if you just open this up, the little folder down on the bottom, that that is your uh, your kind of finder for your computer. And I'm going to look for the USB, I'm sorry, not the USB, but the DVD drive. And you're literally looking for something that looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up this window right here. And what you're looking for is just this sub thumbnailer setup. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring up your license agreement. Go ahead and accept. I accept the agreement and hit next. And then from here, it's going to ask a uh, setup will install in Brilliance. Go ahead and hit next. Um, you won't have this message. I've ha I have this on my computer already. So this is what comes up. But I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to that. And now I can go ahead and say next to this. Um, additional shortcuts create a desktop shortcut. I like that. So I'm going to say next to that. And then I'm going to hit install. There we go. So it's installed on your computer. You're going to go ahead and hit finish. Now it's going to ask you to enter your serial number. So if you look on the inside of your case, you're going to have a serial number right over here on the inside above where the CD goes in. Just so I don't have this number floating around out there for everybody, I'm going to go ahead and enter it in. And you're not going to be able to see it, but just give me one second. I like to put my caps on when I do this. And I hit OK. OK, next screen is going to be register online. So you're going to go ahead and enter all of your information. Um, so you're going to put in your name, first and last name, your address. and your city. I just don't want this information floating around on the internet. Um, so I'm just, so Patrick's filming me. That's right, ladies. My husband's <laughs> whistling at me. And then once you have all that information in, you're gonna hit update. What you're gonna see next on your screen is it's gonna say thanks, for more information, please visit. We're gonna say okay to that. Okay, this page or this screen looks pretty confusing. Don't worry about it. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and just say okay to all of this because what if you load something and it's JEF or you have something from you know another format that you had, maybe you had a Bernina before, a Husqvarna, it'll still let you view those designs. So just leave it the way it is. You can also, if you still can't see files, you can come in here and check for updates. I know I'm pretty updated, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go up here and say OK, and we are set. Now let me show you what happens when you go to look for your designs. So I have, if you look over here on the side of my computer, I have a little uh, USB plugged in. So you can view your designs that are on the USB. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look for my USB, which is right over here. And I have Hop Into Spring. So I'll go ahead and open that up. Now, 
if you look over here, there's certain things that you can and cannot see. What we're looking for is we're gonna be looking for our design files. So I'm gonna open up my design files. There's my PES and view. I'm gonna look at large icons. So they're usually gonna come up like this, which is your actual thumbnail or where they're really, really tiny. If you go up here to the top of your screen, you're gonna see it's gonna say view and you can click on that. And then these options, whoops, these options are gonna come up. And I like to do extra large, cause why not see it the bigger, the better. And there are your designs. Now, what I really love about this too, is when I used my Studio 3, I couldn't view what was in the cloud, but what I'm finding with this is I can actually see, because this is from my OneDrive, which is stuff that all lives up in the cloud. I can go in here. I have all my stuff in new embroidery designs, and let's say I want to go to Disney, and I am going to go here to, um, actually, you know what? Those are PEN. So I'm going to go here to Anita Good. And let's go into Winter Wonderland, which is something we just did for our class. And you do have to go to where the designs are. Here's my designs. And I'm gonna go into Free Motion Stitch Blocks. Here are PES. So I'm gonna click on PES. And here are all my designs. You're gonna see right here that it's large icons. I'm gonna click it on extra large. And if you go ahead and you hover over the design, you're gonna get a little bit more information. It's gonna tell you your stitch count, number of color changes, the size of your design in centimeters and in inches. So that's gonna be the gist of it. You get to view your design, you get a little bit of the properties, the information about your design, and now you don't have to take it to your, um, no longer take it to your sewing machine to see it. You can see it right on your computer, and that's why I love Thumbnailer.